All right, good. Welcome back. In this video, we're looking at how to convert other base to other base again using an example of base converting from base two to base sixteen. So we said to convert from base two to base sixteen. The first thing we're gonna do first is to convert that value from base two to base ten. Base 10, then from base 10 to base 16. That's one step to do. Then the other step will be to use four bits to represent the value, then as well as find the decimal equivalent of those values. So let's start with the first formula. For example, we have this value before us to convert 1010101. One, in base 2, we want to convert it to base 16. So step 1 is assign weight. So the assigning weight will have 1010101. So assign the weight, have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So having assigned that weight, the next thing we're going to do next is to expand your bracket to have 1 times 2. This is in base 2, 1 times 6 power 6 plus 0 times 2 raised power 5 plus 1 times 2 raised power 4 plus 0 times 2 raised power 3 plus 1 times 2 raised power 2 plus 0 times 2 raised power 1 plus 1 times 2 raised power 1 raised power 0 2 raised power 0 all right, this will give us 1 times 64 plus 0 times 32 plus 1 times 16 plus 0 times 8 plus 1 times 4 plus 0 times 2 plus 1 times 1. And to this power of 0 is 1. So this gives us 64 plus 32 plus 64. Like, sorry, this gives us 64. This one will give us 0. So it will give us 0. 64 plus 0 plus 16 plus 0 plus 4 plus 0 plus 1. So this gives us 64 plus 16 is 80. So this value is 85. So we got 85 in this 10. So when we arrive in this step, as we said, we're not taking further to base this thing. So to get to this thing, so we're going to divide this value we have by the destination base. Now moving from base 10 to base 16, divide by 16. So if we divide 84 by 16, we want to divide 84 by 16 and see the value we get. Sorry, 85. Sorry, not 84. Is, is 85. 85 by 16. So we divide 85 by 16. We give us 5. We give us 5. Because 16 times 5 is 80. So we give us 5 given that 5. So 16 goes here, we have 0. Remember five, so that gives us fifty-five in base sixteen. That gives us sixty-five <coughs> in base sixteen. But right, let's confirm with our next values we have. For our next value we have, let's see the next value we have. Using the second method, our second method says one zero one zero one zero one. Converting using the second method, we said uh, for a hexadecimal value, four bits is enough to represent those values in four. So we're gonna we're gonna divide those values in four. So having done that, so how to have one zero one zero? Then we have what next? One zero one. If you see the second value is not up to four, so we're gonna add zero to make it up to four. So we have 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Remember how we converted. This is 4 plus 4 plus 1. This will give us 5. 
you give us 4 plus 1, so you give us 5, which is also 55 in the system. To compare the answer we want to got from 55 in the system, also 55 in the system. So that's two form method to convert from base 2 to base 16. Alright, in our subsequent video, we'll see how to carry out other conversions.